What is up guys? It's your girl Krizia here and today we are doing this look right here So as you guys know if some of you guys follow me on Instagram I posted this look and you guys loved it I got so many DMS and everybody asked me to do this look here. So that's what I'm doing This is a look that I kind of just did off of a whim I bought a new palette and I thought I would explore a little bit very summery, spring, whatever you want to call it, mint mojito, matcha green tea, you name it. Without any further ado, let's jump right into this look and I'll show you guys exactly how I did it. Okay, so my brows are pretty much on. I'm going to touch them up a little bit more later, but I'm not even kidding, guys. The first thing you need is this. So this is the NYX Jumbo Pencil. The color is called Milk and I have not used this in a long time and I literally just popped it out yesterday for fun and that's kind of how this look was born and this I'm gonna use as my primer I didn't put anything else on my eyelids I'm just going to put this we're gonna kind of use it as an eye base and we're gonna also use it a little bit more later and I'm just gonna be using a flat eyeshadow brush across the lid the purpose of why we want to use this white shade is we want to neutralize the eyelids and also brighten the eyelids as much as possible to get that nice mint pastel shade and it also helps the color to stick on better the palette that i'm actually going to be using which i just bought one of the many things i've purchased during quarantine a patricia bright palette it's called revolution makeup revolution london um, i bought it on ulta's website and it was so cheap it was like i think it was like 15 bucks i bought it on sale maybe um, but definitely check it out so the shade range is so pretty i normally don't go for palettes this bright but i was feeling super creative and i'm so glad that i did because it really has inspired a lot of cool fun different looks that i would have never done so the shades that i used are these two here i did use the white shade up there um, and i did actually mix a teeny bit i believe it was this blue called backstage um, but first the color here is called rich rich i'm gonna go ahead and pick up that shade first and we're just gonna tap it off of course i'm just gonna pat this over my lid and this is why we do eyeshadow before we do um, foundation for these kind of looks because there's gonna be a lot of fallout and i really don't want to have to try to be super careful and clean up a big mess afterwards but i'm lightly patting that color over the white base and I always start in the center of my eye and then kind of move out to the edges because I want most of that color in the middle. I'm just patting back and forth like so. I have my little mirror here, so this is where I'm looking. How are you guys doing though? I feel like I've been super creative during quarantine. There's definitely some days where I'm really over it. I feel like I'm totally throwing myself into creativity right now and I'm loving that aspect of it. I'm also getting way more in touch with you know my loved ones, getting a lot closer to everybody in my life right now and just focusing purely on my goals and being positive and healthy. So that's the shade on its own over the jumbo pencil. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna pick up this shade here called Trendsetter. And that is a green. It's kind of like a jade green. Again, starting in the middle, going outwards. Okay, so I'm now going a little bit over again with the teal shade Rich Rich. And I'm kind of like mixing... Mookie, Mookie! Always ends up in my videos, sorry. And again, the white shade is going to really soften it and tone it down so i know right now it looks very vibrant but the main thing is we want an equal amount of blue and green on the eyes so that way when we lay that white shade over it it's going to be the right minty color i'm actually really surprised you guys and like for the price that i paid for this palette the color payoff is so great how about you guys i'm curious have you picked up any new 
any new hobbies or anything like that during quarantine. I feel like I'm being so creative right now. Like me and Dela drew, we had a drawing contest. I know some of you guys saw our poll, which was hilarious because we had a drawing contest of who could draw Mookie better. It was so fun. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with that shade backstage because right now, as you can see, we've got like a nice greenish aqua color, but I want a hint more of blue. And then we're gonna just go over the color. So it's really just layering. I'm closing my eye as much as possible and like kind of tilting my head to look at the mirror so that way I could lay the brush really nice and flat over my eyelid to look really smooth. Okay, boom. That's a really pretty color on its own too. I'm gonna have to try a look with this, but not today. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and now grab this color here, which is called Shimmering. And it's a, it's a white shade and it has a little bit of, of a glossiness to it, which actually comes out really, really pretty. So I'm gonna take the same flat brush that I used for the jumbo pencil and I'm gonna pick up a lot of this shimmering color. And now I'm going to pat over the green color. And this is just gonna kinda like add that soft layer of white over this color to mix it and to see how it's already kinda lightening up. I don't know if you can see. Should we go closer? Closer. I'm taking a little bit more of that white shade and going completely over the color. Oh my God, don't judge my nails. <sighs> I took mine off, those press-ons. <sighs> Did any of you guys see my TikTok? Oh my God. <laughs> That's a true story for me. My press-on nails were popping off everywhere in public, but well, at home too. Okay, so that's that. And then we wanna start blending this out because the color on the edges is really heavy. So I'm taking this finishing brush by Laura Mercier, one of my favorites, but any finishing style brush, what makes it finishing is the very thin bristles. Um, and that's just to lightly fan out the edges. I'm doing a circular motion. We just gotta blend it out as much as possible. I like to pull my eyelid a little bit too because that really helps me get every small crease of color. So I pretty much just blended the white shade with my finger and kind of softened up the whole thing a little bit more and now I wanna go over it again with the jumbo pencil. And I just roll over my eye with it and I'm gonna clean it later cause it's gonna get a ton of green over it but I'm just going to go over it very lightly. And then with my finger, I'm going to pat it and blend it. I have a goose in the house, don't mind. That makes a big difference. So it really just kind of makes the green a lot softer and now it's becoming more of a minty color, which is what we want. And now we have to blend a little bit more and add a crease shade. So now I'm gonna take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and we're gonna give it an, some definition because right now we need a little bit of a crease definition area. So I'm gonna take this color here. This brown is called Queen and this is called Model. I'm gonna mix those two together. Anything that's like a warm brown but not too dark, similar to like a skin tone shade, is gonna be enough. So, and I'm just gonna lay that color very lightly above the teal. This is just so we have some definition on the eyes. So what I like to do is kind of pat the color on and then go back and blend it, just so I make sure the color is placed in the right area. Blend that out, 
So I'm going to take that blending brush from Laura Mercier again and we're going to kind of blend over that color in the crease that we just added. And the color of that shade kind of ends where my brow ends just as a guideline. I feel like if you're also a lighter complexion, you don't have to use the darker brown. You can just use a kind of orangey light brown. I'm just taking some of my concealer, lighter concealer shade, a very small amount, and I'm gonna place it underneath the brow just for some extra definition. But I kind of liked this look yesterday as not so sleek and perfected, if you know what I mean. So I'm barely adding just a touch. This color is a statement on its own, so I feel like you don't really need to do too much else. In my opinion, that's how I like it at least. So now I'm taking a clean eyeshadow brush and I am going to lightly go over everything. So we're gonna do eyeliner as well, so that's also gonna add a nice pop to this look. So I'm gonna be using the NYX Matte Eyeliner. It is very matte, which I find really nice for this look. I don't want anything glossy. I don't wanna take away from this color. So we're gonna use a matte eyeliner. And the way I did this wing was actually more concentrated on being thicker on the outside, kind of like a cat eye. So um, I'll show you guys what I did. So I usually start at the tail and connect a line down. And I kind of want like a slightly chunkier end of a wing here. So I'm gonna just, I'm not gonna pull my eye too much. I'm just gonna connect. I go straight across like that. And then I just fill it in. Make sure you get by the lash line. I kept the line fairly thin as I got towards the inner corner. Okay, I'm gonna just put on the rest of my face makeup right now. Let's go ahead and do that and then we'll finish off the eyes. Any foundation will work for this, but I will say I think a matte, kind of matte look Works really nice. The eyes are the center of attention, I feel, so I kind of did more of a matte finish. Then I'm gonna take my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This is the shade Medium Sand, which is a lot lighter actually than I normally wear, as you can see. So I'm going to be mixing that. I'm just setting my under eye. I'm not baking or anything like that. I'm just setting it because we're going to put some eyeshadow on the bottom of our eyes. I'm just going to add a little bit of concealer right underneath. Okay, so I'm going to take this pencil eyeshadow brush Anything slightly smaller will do, and we have to add the same color combo underneath our eyes that we did on the top. So, that shade Rich Rich. And then we're gonna take the jumbo pencil and put that over. I'm gonna kinda go on the waterline, but slightly below. <laughs> no, that looks crazy. I'm gonna take that same pencil brush. So we're gonna blend that over the color on the bottom of the eyes and also kind of soften up the texture that we placed on the waterline. Now for me, I felt that I wanted some more definition on the bottom of this color so there was some shape underneath my eyes. So what I actually did is I took that light brown that we put in the crease on the top part of our eyes and I went underneath my eye with that color as well. Just a little bit though. The shade Queen or any warm light shade. I'm actually just gonna go 
right in the middle, just in the middle, and do the same on the other side. And then we're gonna, <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> then we're just gonna blend that from the middle and go left to right on the bottom. But I actually put a little black eyeliner on the corners and smoked it out because I didn't want like too much of that doll look. And this is, I'm gonna be using the NARS eyeliner pencil, but you can use any. I'm just gonna take a little bit on the outer corner. See how that just gives a little bit more definition on the bottom lash line? Of course, with mascara, it's also gonna make a difference. Um, but while I have this eyeliner out, I'm gonna make sure to tight line in between the lashes. And now we're gonna take that jumbo pencil again. I'm gonna clean it off, get that green color off because we're actually gonna put this on the inner corners of our eye. That's why I love this because you can do so much with this. So I'm just taking a teeny bit in the corner like that. And this really just opens up the eyes, kind of makes them look brighter. Especially with the, the teal color, I feel like it also adds a nice contrast. You kind of have to soften it up just a tad. But just make sure you don't get any of that green on the inner corner because it's going to take away that brightness. Now I'm going to do bronzer. I'm using Hoola per usual to contour. So for this look, I did contour my nose a little bit. Oh my god, I know! I never contour my nose, but I decided that it would kind of look cool to bring out the eyes a bit more. Then I'm gonna take this warmer bronzer. This is by Maybelline also. It's called Dream Sun. Definitely need some bronzer down here. I have not been getting any sun. I thought a peachy blush would look really pretty with this. Um, this is a classic Melba by MAC. I think a blush always kind of pulls the look together, but I don't want to put too much again because the eyes are really the focal point here. Lip liner by MAC, and this is stripped down. This is by e.l.f. Lip Lacquer. I do love this gloss. Indiscretion by Laura Mercier. We won't mind a little glow. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to go do the rest of my hair and get dressed, and then we'll come back and see the complete all right guys so this is the final look i threw on some mint because we're already in the spirit so um, i think it looks really fun if you pair this eyeshadow look with some kind of color that matches it i think it really brings out the overall look this makeup look is so fun if you have any questions leave a comment but otherwise thanks for watching guys and i will see you next time bye